And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number seven was the intended receiver on the play. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Complete. He's got room. So they go to the air and pick up six. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. Seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So the score now, 7-0. Jayhawks in talking with them this week, Kirk. It's just interesting, their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. Coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. Dumps it complete over the middle. He's taken down at about the 41. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Watch 36. 36 Go, four. He scrambled. He's at midfield, and down he goes at the 44. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. his way to about the 28. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. He's hit and taken down. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Here we go, here we go, 
here we go. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Tackle made at the 21 yard line. The D line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He's got it with room to run. Bounces off a of would-be tackler. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Makes the tenth play of the drive. That makes it first and goal. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Go ahead, two. Go. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the, the PAT. Kansas ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Pressure coming. Got it to the senior. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wide out, hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After, after review of the, the play, the ruling, ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. Set, look up. Makes the catch and look out. And they push him out around the 38-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. Got his receiver. Touchdown. Down grab number two in the game. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game. It usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. And he converts the extra point. Vanderbilt is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. 
One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's got it out to his tight end. He's tackled right around the 34. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Red two. Now he's scrambling. He's taken off. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Flare. Motion, motion, motion. Go. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. We're through one quarter. Vanderbilt's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He catches another. And they finally push him out the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Here we go. Here we go. I got 29. Ah. He's under pressure. Fumble, loose ball. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Kansas to kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Set. Blue 19. Right. Throws it in a hurry. Drop down around the 24-yard line. Drop back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Second and 11. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Here we go. Black and black. They'll bring him down around the 20-yard line. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Caught out of the open. Tackle at the 30-yard line. These three and outs are quite simply momentum killers. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Fielded at the 19. He makes it to the 32-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Second and, eight. 
second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 34. Make the stop at around the 44 yard line. That's a game of 10 right play. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Watch number 29, 29. He gets rid of this one. From their own 44 yard line. Second down. Watch 36. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 49. That's good for a game of seven yards. And he's taken down at the 39. That's good for a game of 10 yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39 yard line. pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Mike 36. Mike 36. Red 2. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So we're looking at another third down here. He's out of bounds around the 31 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. Back in the fourth and two. Tight, tight, tight. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, here we go, here we go. Here we go. He's at the 20. Makes it out to about the 19. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Steps out of bounds at the 15 yard line. Gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 15 yard line, it's second down. Mike, three, six. Mike, three, six. Red two. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down right around the 10 yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. The Jayhawks call a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. This is the 14th play of this drive. He's going to try and scramble. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. It's third and goal from the 10. They'll probably look to the air here. Pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Kansas could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oklahoma! He goes out of bounds. The 33-yard line. 
So it's second down and about two yards to go. He flings it right. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. He scrambled. Tackle made at about the 31. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Here we go. Flags, flags. He's scrambling. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll bring up fourth and five. Vanderbilt is down three and looking to tie it up. Kicks away, and he just drilled it from long range. So at the end of the half, this game is all tied up, 17. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, guys, welcome back. Second half just about set to start, and we're dead even. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. To be able to come out and score in your first drive tells you a lot about what they did during the half. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Watch 41, watch 41. Mike 36. Hut. Blue 19. Hut. And he just gets rid of it. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Check nine, check nine. Watch 36. Dog four. X go. He gets sacked on the play. Level with a 
38-yard line. That makes it first and 10. ten. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Steps out at the 41. That'll make it second and seven. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike no, is four. Six. My it. Gets it. He's in space. Out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 49-yard line, five, black, first down. Black. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. It's picked up by the defense. You love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. That's a great tackle at the 35-yard line. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. From their own 35-yard line, second down. And he hits him hard at the 24. Third down. Third and long now after the sack. He heaves it deep. Has it to the senior. And he's tackled at the 11-yard line. First and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Here we go. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. coordinator big time play taking that ball all the way in maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run he makes the PAT it was a five play 62 yard drive and they put up seven points so the score now 24 17 and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff nice kick plenty of distance this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. But well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, 
The other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. And he is drilled at the 38. Gain of 13 yards. That makes first down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. On a 10-yard gain that time on the completion on the slant. Makes the tackle at the 48-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Rush 36. 36 to Mike. Here we go, here we go. Hit. He fights forward to about the 49. Gain of three on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike. Red, two. Mike. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. From the 46 yard line, it's second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a game of four yards. That makes it a This is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 34. Number 28 brings him down at the 34-yard line. Second down and five. Ball on the 34-yard line. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Today, nine, green, nine. X, go. Tackle around the 22-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. Here's play number 10 on the drive. First and 10. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Here we go, here we go. Here they come. They'll make the sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Dog four. Orange three. Orange three. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. Vanderbilt's lead is a touchdown. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Mike 36, Mike 36. Red two, X seven. And they got him, and the defense gets to him again. These hits take a toll on the quarterback, physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of him. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Where? 
Defenders are taught that if you can't get to the quarterback, get your hands up and try and knock the pass down. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Kansas lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Vanderbilt is up by four. And he throws it away. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. And he's taken down around the 37-yard line. First down. He's on the run. The man gets three on the carry. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. yard line the running back gets a yard maybe less that, that makes, makes it 37. 37 third down now and they need to get it inside the 41 here's the handoff and he's brought down right away great job here and shutting down the run that's a real boost for this team that, that makes, makes it fourth and eight, eight. Vanderbilt holds a four-point lead. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The Jayhawks battled all game long, but it's not looking so good right now. Well, but remember, they're still within striking distance here. If they can put together a drive, they got a shot to win this game. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Down he goes at about the 29-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. Gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Roger, Roger! Mike, 36. Green nine, green nine! Six, seven, six! Makes the grab and steps out right away. Good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. First and ten, ball on the 49. Just under two minutes in the game. And two, X, seven, watch the slant. He gets 
gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Quick strike, and he drops it. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. Makes the tackle, tackle at the 35 yard line. line. First, First down. down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Watch 36. 36 I'm like. Red two. Check, check. Dancer, dance. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Go ahead, two. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. This is the 10th play of this drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Check, check. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Just a minute remains in this football game. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Jayhawks taking their first time out of the half. This is the second time on this drive alone that the defense has stopped them on first, second, and third down, only to give it up on the fourth down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That gives him 100 yards in the game. Well, he's such a big target with good speed, and that's what makes him a dangerous part of this offense. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. He lets it go. He brings it in for the score and the lead. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with six extra... points. And he converts the extra point. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Fires out. He's tackled at the 41. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Gets nailed, and it's intercepted. And he's level at the 47-yard line.
that's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one 27 24 Kansas. 27 the Commodores that's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA football 14 for Kirk Kirk Street this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye <laughs>